Here are some of the features of FTP on the Go and FTP on the Go Pro. We'll start by looking at the app on an iPhone. When you open the app, you are brought to a login screen where you can log into one of your servers. One of our most requested features that is now in version 3 is that you can connect using SFTP. Once connected, you will see the contents of your server. If you want to view something, select the file, then tap the View button. You can view many types of files right inside the app. If you are viewing a text file such as a web page or a style sheet, tap the keyboard next to the file name to edit it. We have added an extra keyboard row with many of the special characters needed for web development. This is expanded even further on the iPad when using FTP on the Go Pro. For more file commands, tap the menu button on the right side of the row. From here you can change the file's permissions, rename, move, or delete it. There is a similar menu button for folders. This folder menu also lets you download entire directory trees. There is a search option that will let you find the files you are looking for quickly. On the lower toolbar, you can refresh the directory, sort the files, download files onto your device, and access the menu for the entire FTP site. You can work with files locally by switching to the Saved Files area. This view is very similar to the FTP view, but shows files that are saved locally on your device. Here is the movie I downloaded earlier. If you want to edit a file using a different app, use the Open In option to see what is available on your device. There are three special folders in the Saved Files area, but only two are shown here. Photo Library is the collection of pictures and videos on your device. If you want to upload a picture you just took with the Camera app, you can find it here. Shared with iTunes is synced with iTunes so you can easily move files back and forth between your computer and your iOS devices. An iCloud folder is not shown but will appear if your device supports iCloud. Similar to the sync with iTunes, this folder will sync with your iCloud storage so you can sync files between different iOS devices. You can also email files right within FTP on the go. The web view is a built-in browser that lets you view the changes you've made without needing to switch apps. It also works as a regular web browser. Transfers will show the files currently downloading or in the download queue. And the settings is where you can configure the app to work the way you want it to work. Up to this point, everything you've seen is on both the regular and pro versions of FTP on the go. But now we're going to switch over to the iPad and I'll show you some of the pro-only features. The first thing you see on an iPad is that you have a lot more space to work with. The tabs are all still here just as before, but web view and file views get the whole right side of the screen. When you view a file, you can see it side by side with the directory listing. You can also switch between views for all the files you currently have open. If you want to switch to full screen mode for editing files, tap this arrow in the toolbar. You can still switch between open files and get a better view of them full screen. And the X closes the file. The various menus appear as pop-ups on the iPad, which makes them very easy to work with. And finally, the search option is available here too. And that's just a little overview of what FTP on the Go and FTP on the Go Pro have to offer. Thank you.